Oh my word. YouTube people, what a fantastic three days we had here in Kentucky. <coughs> Riding, well, a few of the great back roads. I wish we could stay here a little longer. But we headed up to Ohio, then come back around. Actually, Ohio, we don't know where we're going after that. We might go up to... We might go up to New York. We was talking about going to Niagara Falls on the Canadian side since we've never been there. But we're not sure yet. See you guys on the road. We are currently in Ohio going to our next campground and we should be heading back to ride the triple nickel tomorrow but look what kind of weather we're getting. And when we looked at the weather and radar, it's supposed to be no rain. So much for accurate weather reports. But we're going to a free campground. Okay, how far are we away from the campground? 53 miles from our next campground. And we know it's going to be a free campground. So we're going there, stay there, probably get back on a bike tomorrow, depending on weather. Ride the trip for nickel. This is our exit here. And yeah, we'll see you guys when we get to the camera. We are still here in Ohio, made it to our next free camp spot. Are we setting up free on... Free. Huh? I know. Cake said free, 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 free. We setting up on the asphalt. And we're going to give you guys a campground review. And after we set it up, I think we're staying maybe two days. We was going to stay three, but two days because we really don't like this place. We'll give you a campground review to show you what it's like. And then we'll talk about what we don't like about it after the review. Uh, we set up. Uh, we came to the conclusion that we're just going to stay one night. As you see. Now, depending on what type of camping you like, uh, we like free campgrounds, but it's not the campground per se that the reason we stay in only one night, we'll talk about that in a minute. Just got to finish setting up, although we only just setting up for one night. But look like we're expecting some rain, so we're going to probably put our easy up over here, over patches. That way, when we fold patches up in the morning, it's not getting wet. We don't mind our easy up fold up in the morning getting wet, but we don't want our sleeping quarters to get wet and mildew. We're about to have dinner right now. Hooking up our kitchen. And it's a Coleman stove. Top of the line. <laughs> I don't know what we're eating for dinner tonight, but we're gonna eat something. We'll get the propane. <laughs> we about to cook. We about to eat some dinner right now. I don't know what I'm cooking. Like I said before, my bag just ripped all up. But I'm cooking something. Okay. We finished setting up the tent, and now we're setting up the kitchen. And here we go. You might see something attached to patches tonight. But we put that on there just in case it rains. Patches will be dry and we can fold her up. And she'll be dry and we're not folding her up wet. Which cuts down on mold and mildew. 
Nobody likes more than milk. They do make a correction. Patches is the boy, not a she. <laughs> Patches is the girl. <laughs> yep. Kind of look like a regular tent with that up there, huh? Mm-hmm. I like it. So I'm gonna sit down here while my beautiful bride prepare dinner. Not too late, so we probably gonna be hungry later on tonight also. And if you need supplies, there's a Walmart. There's a Walmart about 23 to 25 miles away from our location. Yeah, yeah. Dinner time. Dinner time. Oh, look at it. Dinner time. Time to eat. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Yes. yes, we do. A lot. A lot of it. Guy asking us about our bike. I didn't hear you. I'm from out in Arizona. I have a set for my dog's not real good with people. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> He's trying, but he's just not. I live out in Arizona. Arizona? Arizona. Yeah. Yes, yes. Just traveling around the country? Oh, wow. So you're full time? Huh? With that big tent? Alone? <laughs> wow, look at this. I'm, I'm recording. Look at this big tent. I'm going to say alone. But look at that big tent she's had. Full time. See, this, this, you know how to live. It's really not that hard to set up. Mm -hmm. really, you stake it, take 16 stakes, and then 16 stakes. Right. 16 stakes. Kodiak canvas. That's probably a really good one. Kodiak canvas. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yes. It's kind of like the one Will made. Oh, wow. Y'all hear that? Oh, that's 55 strong. mile an hour wind. That tent. She <laughs> retired and full timer. The Kodiak canvas tent. And it's really, really? Wow. Really good one, yeah. Wow. Nice and big. Wow. I got solar on the roof and solar generators. And... <laughs> <laughs> what generator do you use? Um, Which one? Well, I do have a gas generator. A gas, a gas one? one. Okay. I also have two Blue Eddies and a Delta. Okay. That's what we're looking at, Blue Eddie. Yeah, Blue Eddie. Here's the best, and I'll tell you why. You can expand. Oh. You can take like an AC 180. Yes, yes. You can run a lot. Right. You can buy expansion batteries to put on it so you build a bigger setup. Right. right. You know? Right. So, yeah, if you're going to look into uh, Blue Eddie. Blue Eddie? Yeah. Very expanding all the time. Yeah, we've been doing, we've been doing this ten for 10 years now. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah, I spent little over. 2017. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we've been doing I have family. Well, nine years. Nine, ten, I forget. Oh, Navy. Ten years. Yes. United States Navy, 1974, 1978. Wow. wow. What was your rate? At the age of the ship service. Uh -huh. I made sure that all the ships had it. Right, right. Uh, well, thank you yeah. for your service. Thank you for your service. Appreciate you it. You too. <laughs> you have a good one now. Uh, you you too. One. Oh, I just met this wonderful lady here. She's full timing. Before we go any further, she's at Camp Site 22, and it does not have an asphalt pull through, so she has to pull alongside the roads for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hitting hollow campground. Now, here's where you do your registration, self-registration. There's a pin in there. So now the part that we don't like, I can say this for sure, both Cake and I, agree the same when we came in here even though it was a 14 day stay limit it looked like people actually living here yeah and it's kind of weird because i saw that on one of the reviews when we actually found a campground but everybody been friendly as we've been passing through but at some spots it looked like there's been living here like a homeless encampment but hey it's free and if rangers don't come check in 14 days then i will stay here longer also if I had no place to go. 